All right, guys, we have got to talk about Deadpool 3 because this movie, the highly anticipated threequel, of course, the last movie came out all the way back in 2018. And now, all these years later, we are finally getting the third movie. And now, Deadpool's in the MCU. So we got a Marvel Studios Deadpool movie. It's still rated R. Don't worry about that. And not only do we have Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, we got Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. This is so exciting, guys. I'm so excited for this film. I haven't even seen the other Deadpool movies, but hearing things about this film, man, I'm excited. Because today we are talking about a brand new official plot leak from 4chan for Deadpool 3. And I don't usually go into uh, doing videos and really reading in general, uh, plot leaks for films. And because most of the time they're very unbelievable. And then if they are true, like I don't want those levels of spoilers, but there is a plot leak out there for Deadpool 3, which, you know, it's just unfortunate. It's anonymous. Anybody could have posted it. It could be completely fake, but I really hope it's not because this sounds not only amazing, but actually could be real because this, I think it actually sounds kind of realistic based on everything we have been hearing about Deadpool 3. It sounds insane, and I'm so excited to talk about it. Um, don't worry, guys. There's no big spoilers about like, oh, this character dies or that. Uh, you know, that that's the stuff I don't like hearing. But this is basically just about the basic story. So I'm not going to like spoil anything about the movie, but this is just the story. It's probably stuff that would get revealed in a trailer or anything or any anyway. Um, but you know, we're getting a little sneak peek here. Um, so I really hope this is true because this sounds amazing. So let's talk about this official 4chan plot leak for Deadpool 3. So Deadpool will get arrested by the TVA. Of course, the Time Variance Authority set up in the Loki Disney Plus series, making their return in Loki Season 2 this October. Uh, I really love the TVA. Didn't really care about them before Loki. Watched the show. Loved it. Now I love the TVA. And given how, again, I haven't seen Deadpool, so just what I've heard about how Deadpool 2 ends with Deadpool going around doing some time travel shenanigans, it makes sense that he would probably get at least in contact and probably arrested by the TVA, but they, I'm assuming are probably going to see like he's really good with time travel or something like that. And that is why, according to this plot leak, they send him out on a mission to save this universe within the multiverse. So they send him to a brand new universe and he is going to fight the X-Men. So even more interesting though Deadpool is sent off on this mission, and he is given a handler. So, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is sent to basically be the chaperone, the babysitter for Deadpool on this mission. And it doesn't mention anything specifically here, but I'm assuming slash hoping that we will finally get to see Hugh Jackman wear the yellow and blue comics accurate Wolverine suit because I am so excited about that. So, we got Deadpool, we got Wolverine, we got the TVA, Pretty much all this we already knew about. We already know Owen Wilson is going to be in here as Mobius. And I believe it's rumored Tara Strong is returning as uh, Miss Minutes for this film as well. So, so far in this plot leak, sounds pretty accurate because we already knew all this stuff. But here is where it gets good. Because they send Deadpool and Wolverine to this universe... Why do they send them to this universe? What is wrong with this universe? Why Deadpool and Wolverine specifically? Well, Wolverine comes from this universe, but he is the only hero left standing because Ian McKellen will return as Magneto. And in this universe, it's a it's a House of M style universe where Ian McKellen's Magneto is ruling over the world. He is ruling over a mutant army and he rules over the X-Men. All of the X-Men are evil in this universe, and they all work for Ian McKellen's Magneto. Meanwhile, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is the only hero left standing, so he teams up with Deadpool to go and kill the X-Men. And oh my god, guys, this sounds awesome, because we've heard so many things about, you know, Fox X-Men actors coming back, you know, obviously in something like Secret Wars, but this movie specifically, I mean, we just heard the other day, well, we didn't hear, but I made a video about, you know, 
Halle Berry possibly coming back as Storm because she just posted a, a picture on social media with her white hair and they just started filming this movie. So that would make sense right there. But let's talk about the other X-Men characters that have already been confirmed for this film as well. Like, for example, Patrick Stewart as Professor X, who, of course, already has been in an MCU movie as Professor X in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So he, I'm pretty sure, straight up confirmed in an interview that, yeah, I'm back for Deadpool 3. And he also simultaneously said that Ian McKellen was back as well. So right there, we got some confirmation those two are coming back and that's really exciting to see those two back on screen again together and also um again to hopefully get some more comics accurate suits here um specifically for ian mckellen's magneto to see him in the purple suit i think is gonna be really awesome you know with this kind of a multiverse cameos slash like legacy characters i feel like they're gonna do a lot of like what they did with spider-man no way home where they brought back green goblin they brought back electro but they changed the designs of those characters to be much more comics accurate and with that it was the same versions of the characters so it was harder to do that but with this these are completely different versions of these characters so it's way easier to just have them in already a comics accurate suit so that's really exciting and another thing mentioned in this plot leak specifically connected to magneto is that there will be other like Avengers and MCU references as well. Maybe a couple cameos, but mainly references. And one of the big ones that it specifically notes is that Magneto, you know, he killed the Avengers in this universe. And he actually, you know, with his magnetic powers, was able to wield Mjolnir. Like he was able to steal Mjolnir away from Thor. And we can see that he has it now in his arsenal. And I'm just thinking about like, you know, there's this great art of Kang out there. And just think about this, but with Magneto. Magneto just sitting on his throne. You get Captain America's shield, Stormbreaker, the Infinity Gauntlet, Spider-Man's mask. Like this would be absolutely insane and so so cool to get a version of this but with magneto that would be really really awesome but let's talk about some other x-men characters though there's been rumors that channing tatum could appear as gambit because of course if you don't remember or if you didn't hear about it in the first place there was originally going to be a gambit movie in development with channing tatum starring as gambit that movie ended up going nowhere it was canceled and Channing Tatum never played Gambit, but this would be a great way to have him play that character, just like how uh, Multiverse Man has brought in John Krasinski as Reed Richards, because he is not going to be the main MCU Reed Richards, but because it's a little multiverse cameo, he got to play the character. So it, we could do a little multiverse cameo and have Channing Tatum finally play Gambit, which I th honestly think it's a great casting, so I'd be really interested in seeing that. And also, another one I really, really want to see return is James Marsden, because James Marsden, he's a great actor. I think he was great casting as Cyclops, but just in those movies, he was so underutilized, and he just, James Marsden deserves so much better than what he got in those X-Men films. So, to bring him back, do him justice, give him a bigger role, give him maybe a comics accurate suit. That would be just so, so awesome and so cool to see. And then you add on top of all this, all these crazy returning Fox X-Men characters, you have Colossus in here as well. It's been officially confirmed that the, the Colossus actor is returning. Colossus will be in this movie. He, of course, is part of Deadpool's squad. But to see this, I... I love this design for Colossus because it's so comics accurate, but to see this Colossus alongside these X-Men characters, these Fox X-Men characters, because I know there was a version of Colossus in the Fox X-Men movies, but it wasn't a very good one. So to see this really comics accurate one standing next to, for example, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine or Ian McKellen's Magneto, I actually, now that I think about it, Colossus versus Ian McKellen's Magneto, if he can do that to Mjolnir... I can only imagine what Magneto could do to Colossus, but it would be so cool to just see Colossus alongside all these crazy characters. That's something that gets me so excited about this because I'm a huge fan of the 90s X-Men, the animated series. That's where my love for X-Men stems from. And so to see basically a live action version of that and, you know, those 90s Jim Lee designed costumes and colors popping on screen in live action that's just something that gets me so excited and you know 
obviously I'm excited to see the main like new official MCU X-Men. It'll be great to see these actors return and reprise these roles, um, get done justice if they weren't before and get these great comics accurate suits because it's going to look so, so cool. So anyways, guys, that is the basics of this plot leak for Deadpool 3. Again, it is a it's a plot leak. It could be fake. It was anonymously posted, so who knows? Uh, but I really do hope this is true because this sounds insanely awesome and just so cool. And just reading about this just put a smile on my face as an X-Men fan. So I really, really hope this ends up being what Deadpool 3 is because it sounds absolutely perfect for what this Deadpool movie should be and a great kickoff slash lead into Avengers, the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, this great multiverse fest that is coming upon us. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this plot leak for Deadpool 3? Do you think it's real? Do you believe it? Do you want it to be real? And what Fox X-Men characters would you like to see appear in Deadpool 3? So anyways, guys, Thanks so for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep you to date on everything goes on in the Marvel life.